Yo! Hi everyone! It's been a week since I uploaded my video. I was talking about new cars and private room. But in this video I will do a full review of the new update. The traffic. Sometimes traffic just randomly became dense. Like this one. It cools I really need some more of it. But sadly it's just randomly happened. Here is another one I caught on recording. I noticed the traffic getting heavier so I stopped and let them pass. I think that's all of them. Let's have a little fun here. Oops. My bad. This is normal traffic that you will see very often. And if you are coming up behind those streetcar, they will often change the lane for you. But sometimes they will randomly change their lane and block you. This makes these streetcars look more alive. Sometimes they are just being stupid. Let me show you. What are they doing? Well, so basically these streetcars are improving but also need some fix. Now, car control. After I have played Kark Street 1.3.0 for a week, I noticed that they actually slightly changed players' car physics, make it easier to control so players can enjoy more. At first I thought that it was only M5 that has good control, but it's actually all my cars are getting buffed. Or they just buff the tires? Here is some proof that the car is getting easier to turn at high speed. I didn't even release the gas paddle. And this is 265 kilometers jump. Downforce also improved. What a save! Let do more test. I didn't upgrade any downforce for this Lambo. Let's see how it's jump. That was only 160 kilometers, and the jump was so high. So I guess they buff all upgrade parts. And we can't continue without talking about glitch. I'm sure you are all seeing visual glitch right now. This screenshot will show that visual glitch isn't my edit. It was an in-game visual that happened when two conditions meet. The first condition is when I was in an area full of trees and foliage. That means mountain areas and some areas in the city that have tree and foliage. And the second condition is the screen recording. That means if I am recording gameplay and go to the areas with tree and foliage, a black flick visual glitch will happen. This glitch doesn't affect the gameplay, but it's kinda annoying. The next glitch is real annoying. Sometimes cars just spawn in front of you. Like, the flark is that. It often happened in Elite Race. And sometimes your car just gets sucked into the floor. And, the next glitch is traction control. Traction control seems to be not working in this update. I will do a traction control test to prove it. First let's make sure I turned on the traction control. I will switch it off and on again. Watch the mark on the road. Now I will launch it again with traction control off. And now watch the mark on the road again. It's 
it's literally no different. Let me try one more car. I will turn on the traction control again. Maybe my car is just so powerful, but check this. Now I will turn the traction control off. That's the same mark pattern. Traction control really affects the tires worn out system. With traction control off your tires worn are wasted. And racing plus tires cost 2 gold per set. And the next glitch, auto change option. I don't know if it is supposed to be like that. Or it's really a glitch. Look at my tires. It's currently on 20% right now. And I have auto change on. Now watch this. Looks like when it's about to drop below 20%, auto change will take action. Well my tires cost to gold per set, so I guess it should drop to 1% before auto change takes action. For me there is no change in online races except the new private room. Everyone is just hanging and chilling around the highway. But who knows, maybe they're cooking something for us. With such a huge space, maybe we got a new track for both online and offline races in future updates. But now, nothing new in offline race. AI seems easier to be pushed off the road than before, but they are still good at cornering, so don't underestimate them. And the final, the game itself seems optimized for me. My FPS is increased, a little bit better graphics, and that's all the experience of Kark Street 1.3.0 so far. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and drop a like for me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.